Hey guys, I'm Glitter Valkyrie, and today we're going to try to plus 10 Summer Lara Shell. If you couldn't guess, she is my favorite Fire Emblem character, and of course we have to try to get the plus 10, so hopefully luck is on our side. And so with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so our plan for today is not to pull any of these colors. <laughs> But obviously that won't always be a choice, and I do feel like blue has more value for me than red on this banner, so hopefully it won't come up too often, but I think that that's what we should do. But of course, the number one priority for me on this banner is Summer Lara Shell. Um, as I said, she is my favorite in all things, and I have to have every single version um, that gets added to the game, and I am so, so happy with this alt. I think that the art is just beautiful. It totally captures her fun spirit. I love the outfit. <laughs> and I also think that she has a super solid stat line for a four star. Um, I will admit that I was a little bit disappointed that she didn't get a PRF, but the weapon that she came with is absolutely fantastic. I feel like it might be one of the best staves in the game. And so I think that this alt is amazing. And I'm also really excited that she's hopefully a little bit more accessible as a four star. And so, of course, she is the priority, but I have to get Ephraim as well. Um, I think that the ship with Ephraim and Lara Shell is one of the best in the entire series. That might actually be my... Oh, wow. That is Deirdre. <laughs> you know what? I actually really do like Deirdre, but mine is plus 10, so I have no idea what to do with this. Uh, but let's check IVs. And she is minus attack. Sure. <laughs> I really do like her art. Um, but I was saying that um, I love the ship of Ephraim and Lara Shell. I think they have some of the best supports in the entire series. I think they are so much fun together. And I love that they were added together on this banner. I also think that his art is absolutely amazing. Probably one of my favorites of all the summer banners that we've gotten. I think the art is just perfect. And he's also going to be incredibly strong. And so I really, really want to pull every green that we see. And if it gets to the point where he has not come home, um, at the 40 mark and Lara Shell has. We'll probably have to spark for him, but we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, I think that those two are definitely the targets for today. And with all that said, I think that we can go ahead and answer viewer questions. And as always, if I did not get to yours, I am so sorry. I will try to answer in a future one. And if you think of a question you want to ask me, just leave it in the comments with hashtag question, and I will be sure to put your question on my list. And so our first question today comes from Ben LaCoit and they ask, how do you feel about Boucheron? I like Boucheron. <laughs> um, I will admit he's not a character that I used a ton in my playthroughs. Um, I would use him initially, but then I got distracted with other characters. But I will say that I find him very endearing. Um, he has this one line, I think it's an arena where you hear it, where he says something like, it's me, Boucheron. <laughs> and I just thought it was so cute. And so I, he is a character that I do enjoy, and I'd love to use him in a future playthrough, um, but I really have limited experience with him right now. Um, but thank you for that great question. Okay, please be Lara Shell. Okay, three star. <laughs> and we get Azama. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this green, and we can answer our next one. And this comes from RJDK24. And they ask, what are your favorite banners to pull in Faye? Name five. So if you're asking about my favorite types of banners, um, I think that my most favorite actually does not exist anymore. It was the Dancer banner. Um, I was very, very sad when that went away. Um, my other favorite is Halloween because that's my favorite holiday. I also typically like the summer banners and the Christmas banners and the baby banners too. They're always really, really cute. But if you're asking about like my favorite banners of all time that we've had so far, I think that my two favorites are the one with Halloween Lara Shell because that was just like the best one ever. And I also really loved the Dancer Xander uh, banner. <laughs> it was just all characters that I wanted. You know, it's never, um, it's never a very common thing where I'm like, I have to have every single one on this banner. And, and that was one of those for me. <laughs> but yeah, I think that those are some of my favorites, but thank you for that great question. And uh, let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Dave Mann, and I'm so sorry if I said that incorrectly. And they ask, if one of the upcoming summer banners is engaged themed, which characters would you like to see on it? So I'm honestly pretty doubtful at this point that it's going to happen. I really feel like it's gonna be like a new hero banner where we see them. Ooh, Sylvain, <laughs> I'm always happy to see him. Um, but yeah, I don't think that it's going to happen for summer, although it would be a very, very welcome addition. But if we did get that, um, of course, I want to see Diamant and Ivy and Alchrist and Citrine. <laughs> 
I think those are probably my four favorites, but also risotto. <laughs> there are just so many. Um, but yes, if we happen to see that, I would absolutely love it. Um, but thank you for that great question. And uh, let's go ahead and answer another one. And this comes from Supreme Midnight. And they ask, who is your favorite fey art? Oh my goodness. <laughs> there is so many that I love, but if I had to like pick just one or two, I would probably say Halloween Lara Shell or maybe, oh gosh, <laughs> maybe Legendary Xander. I just love that art. Um, I feel like both of those really capture everything that's important about the character and they're so beautifully detailed and well done and I just love them. Um, but thank you for that great question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this next one was actually asked by two different people. This comes from Elian Rodriguez and Corey Fusting. And they both asked about my experience with Tears of the Kingdom. And then Elian also asked what my favorite non-main story spoiler thing was about it. And Corey asked if I built any contraptions. Okay, <laughs> so I actually beat the game a couple of nights ago and I have so many thoughts and feelings about the game and I feel like talking about this is going to be super disorganized, so I'm going to try my best. <laughs> um, but I will say that I do think that Tears of the Kingdom is a good game. Oh my goodness, we got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I absolutely adore this art. It's amazing. Okay, let's check IVs and he is perfectly neutral. I am so beyond happy with that. <laughs> I'm just so happy to have him. And I feel like we should still pull some greens at least here and there. Um, maybe if we get up to like a super high rate again, I don't know, <laughs> but I'd love to get more copies. Um, but uh, getting back to this very, very lucky question, I was saying that I think that Tears of the Kingdom is a very good game, but not a very good Zelda game for me. Um, and I recognize everybody's Zelda experience and expectation is different. And for me, I'm probably a little bit more traditional because I grew up on Ocarina of Time and that's like truly the perfect game for me. And so nostalgia is definitely clouding that. But um, there were a lot of things in Tears of the Kingdom that just didn't feel like it was that Zelda magic that I was really, really hoping for. Um, one of the things was actually building the contraptions. Um, I know that so many people, that was like the best part of the game for them. But for me, um, I'm not a very creative person and I just don't have that spatial awareness. And so a lot of the things that I made were not very good. And then I got auto build and it kind of took all the guesswork out. Um, but it wasn't an experience that was enjoyable for me. Like, I don't want to build things in Zelda. I want to solve puzzles and find spiritual stones and visit dungeons and like beautiful places. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I want more out of the experience. And I didn't necessarily get that in Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so yes, I made contraptions and they were bad. <laughs> and then about the question about my favorite, like non main story spoilery thing. Um, I will never spoil anything with this game because I feel like people should experience it. But I think the thing that I liked the most about it was the return to dungeons because that was something that I missed in Breath of the Wild and that was a game that I loved. But I feel like the Divine Beasts kind of had some things that were a little bit lacking and we were kind of back to true form with this game. Um, I did really love the Gerudo dungeon in particular. It really felt like old school Zelda. I thought that the theming was excellent. It was so immersive and I just enjoyed every minute. And so while it's not like perfect, there were some dungeons that I didn't like, I do think it was way, way better than in Breath of the Wild. And I will say that the other thing is that I think the story was a huge improvement from the previous game. Um, I was really engrossed in it. I think it was really, really well done. And so I was very, very happy with that. Um, but with all that said, I do have a lot of gripes <laughs> about the game, unfortunately. And so one thing that really bothered me was the price point. And I wonder how you guys feel about this, but I did not feel like it was worth the um, additional $10. I feel like the graphics were really lacking. Um, it lagged so many times for me. It would just like freeze when I was midair so many times. And you just shouldn't have that with a game that costs that much. Um, it was something that really bothered me. <laughs> and then uh, some other things that were kind of little gripes for me. Um, it bothered me the way they handled Link. Um, and I know that he's supposed to be a silent protagonist and there is value in that, but I feel like with the story being as good as it was and with him being involved, he should have had more of a reaction to things. Like there's one particular time in the game where something very big happens that he 100% should have a reaction to. And he has that same look on his face like if he found five rupees and it bothered me so, so much. <laughs> and so I don't know how you guys feel about that, but for me, it was something that was kind of disappointing. 
And then like one last thing that's like so, so silly. Um, I do not like jump scares and I don't like the dark. And that was a huge part of the game. And <laughs> there were actually so many times where like my cat was sitting on my lap and I would be like so startled. They would like get launched out of my lap and I just felt bad for them and for me. And it was just not a pleasant time. <laughs> And so, yes, that was super long-winded, but kind of my thoughts on Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but thank you for that very lucky question. Okay, please be Lara Shell. Where is she? <laughs> you know, we're supposed to have, like, really good rates with these four stars. Okay, smoke. Maybe this is it. That is not Lara Shell. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and back out. And we are just going to try to remain positive and... <laughs> Let's go ahead and answer our next question. And so this next one's actually another bonus from Elian. And they ask, what are your favorite Fae details and which characters are you hoping for on the next summer banner? So uh, my favorite things that are details in Fae are things that are throwbacks to um, support conversations that might be a little bit more obscure. Like when baby Lara Shell mentions that she's so mad she could yank an old man's beard. That's actually a callback to um, one of the supports where when she was a baby and she'd get upset, Dozla would let her yank on his beard. And it's just so incredibly adorable. I love that they added that. Or like with Sarah just insisting that she's a Count's daughter because that's something that goes back to her supports where she told herself that because she couldn't accept that she was um, like left at an orphanage. Um, so just it's the little things like that, that make me really, really happy. And then as for your second question about a summer banner, if we can't get engaged, I really want to see Crom and regular Lucina. I don't think that it'll happen, <laughs> but you know a girl can dream. <laughs> Okay, so let's just hope beyond hope that this is Lara Shell. Okay, smoke. It's Brady. <laughs> oh my goodness, where is she? <laughs> you know, we have to pull the screen. We just we just have to while we're here. Why not? Maybe it'll be Ephraim. It'll make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> okay, smoke. Holy smokes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know what? I feel so much better about Lara Shell not coming home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and check this one. And he is perfectly neutral. I am so happy with that. That'll be a merge. <laughs> and now we can go ahead and spark. And I can't believe it took this, but of course we're going to take Lara Shell. <laughs> Very easy choice. She's here. <laughs> it took 40 pulls, but she is here and I'm so happy to see her. And we get the thing. <laughs> All right, so we probably should end things here, but we got one Lara Shell. <laughs> You know, to be real, I'm probably going to use all of these orbs regardless, and I don't want this video to be 10 million years long, but I want more Lara shells. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to think if I want to like share my shame publicly, but I just might do it. Okay, you can judge me. I am judging me. We're going to do this. <laughs> Hopefully we get at least one or two more. <laughs> And so, you know, we're going to take this opportunity to answer more questions. And the next one that we have today comes from Fear the Deer. And they ask, which engaged character did you change your mind on after you played the game? So there are a couple of characters that I can think of that I felt one way and then like a completely different way after playing the game. And I think that the main one for me was probably a Leer. Just because my... Oh my gosh, we got her! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so sorry if that was loud. I'm just so excited. Okay, let's check IVs. Holy smoke, she is plus speed. That is perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so, so, so happy that we kept going. <laughs> so, you know, I think that we're going to go with the plus speed and then we'll use the florette to make her plus attack too. And oh my gosh, I am so beyond happy. <laughs> but getting back to this very lucky question, I was saying that with... Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so, so happy. Okay, let's check this one. And she is plus defense. That is going to be a merge. <laughs> and so, you know, we are just going to keep going. Hopefully things have turned around now. 
And getting back to this incredibly lucky question, I was saying that um, Alir is definitely a character that fits th that criteria just because my expectations were so low after seeing the design, but she ended up being one of my favorite protagonists. I just loved her. Um, so definitely her, but um, then there were also some characters that I thought I was going to love and ended up not loving so much. And unfortunately, one of those was Celine. Um, I went into it thinking she was going to be my favorite, and I was just honestly so disappointed. Um, her personality was very different than what I expected. It ended up just being a lot about tea, and I did not like that. <laughs> And so while her design is really good, I was very disappointed. And generally with a lot of the characters in Firenay, I was extremely disappointed. They were kind of boring to me. And um, when I initially played the game, I was actually very worried until I got to the area with Alcris. And then like the game super picked up because there were so many characters that I loved. But it was a very different experience than what I anticipated. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. But thank you for that very, very lucky question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Bob the Hobo is Cool, and I have a rapid fire round. And they ask, out of all of their alts slash art, which of these characters is your favorite and your least favorite alts? Okay, so I have a list of characters, and the first one is Lara Shell, and honestly, there are no bad Lara Shells. <laughs> I could never pick like a least favorite. Oh my gosh, she heard me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see her again. Okay, let's check this one. And she's also plus speed. Amazing. <laughs> and so we will just keep going with this very lucky question. Maybe all I need to do is just keep talking about how great she is and that there are no bad versions. But truly, I think in Faye, I do not have a least favorite. But if I have to pick my most favorite, it is probably the Halloween one. She's just so perfect. <laughs> And then um, the next uh, character that we have on the list is Alencia. And I would agree that um, there's also no bad Alencia at all. But if I have to pick like my most favorite, I'd probably say the Ascended one just because I was waiting for her to be a healer for such a long time. And that alt is just so perfect. I love the art. She's so strong. And so she's probably my favorite. And if I had to pick a least favorite, it would be very difficult. But I think that it would be like the resplendent art for her original form just because I love the regular one so much. Um, I still love it, but <laughs> maybe just a little bit less. And then as for the next character, we have Marita. And I think there are only two. Well, I think there are three. <laughs> there is the purple one. Um, so I think that that one would actually be my least favorite of the fallen one just because she's sad. And I think my most favorite is like the regular Marita, like the original one that we got. And then uh, the next character that we have is Xander. And I do love all Xanders, but I do love some more than others. <laughs> and if I have to pick a favorite, I'd say probably the legendary one. Um, I just think that he is so incredibly strong. His art is some of my favorite in the game, and I just adore him. And if I have to pick a least favorite, I think that I'd probably say the bunny one just because he looks a little stupid. <laughs> I feel bad saying that, and you know what? I'm still trying to plus 10 him, minus plus 8, and I love him, but... I think that, oh my gosh, <laughs> my goodness, I'm so happy to see her again. Okay, let's check this one. And she is plus HP. That's going to be another merge. I really should be keeping better track. <laughs> but if we need to, we can stop and go back. Um, <laughs> but getting back to this insanely lucky question, I was saying that my least favorite um, is Bunny Xander, even though I'm still going to try to plus 10 him. And then as for the last character on our list, we have Claude, and my most favorite is the Legendary. I think that the art is perfect. I think he is such a strong character to use. I love his gravity effect. Um, and as for my least favorite, I do love them all, but I think that my least favorite is probably, oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have no words. <laughs> okay, let's check this one. And she is plus defense. Amazing. <laughs> I really will need to stop um, probably in a little bit and check how many we have, but I don't think that we're super close to plus 10. Um, but getting back to this very, very lucky question to finish up, I was saying that my least favorite Claude is probably the original one just because I like the time skip version more, but I still love all Claudes. <laughs> but thank you so much, Bob, for that incredibly lucky question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Amora Oblige, and they ask, with female Robin announced as the next resplendent, which grail unit besides Xander would you want next with the outfit of your choice, and which grail unit would you least like to see? Oh gosh. 
You know, since I opened Pandora's box, there are so many that I want to see now. But um, yes, Xander is my number one choice. But aside from him, I really, really want to see them fix Lloyd. <laughs> He's just been done an injustice, and I don't even care what realm they give him. I just want them to fix him. But um, aside from him, there are still a bunch of characters that I want to see. Like, I want to see Finn, uh, maybe in, like, Hell Attire. That would be great. And I want to see Leon also in Hell Attire or anything else. <laughs> and I would love to see Ethlyn, too, in whatever world we're in now. I don't even remember the name, but I feel like it would be perfect. <laughs> But there are just so many that I would love to see, and there are a lot that I would be kind of disappointed with. Um, probably most of the villain characters, aside from like Leon and Zephiel. Um, it was kind of that case with Aversa, where like I was not happy with the Fae Pass that week because I did not want to use her, but she kind of opened up the opportunity for those Grail units, so I wasn't super mad. <laughs> Thank you for that great question. Okay, please be Lara Shell. Okay, smoke. And we get Linhart. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and back out. And we can go ahead and answer another one. And this comes from Maurice Saturn 32 And they ask, what are your thoughts on playing Seer's Snare? I was just playing the rewards, so how about you? <laughs> oh gosh, I was the exact same way. Um, I feel like it's nice that they're trying to do something different, but this, this new mode really did not do much for me. I just did it to get the rewards, and honestly, the rewards weren't that spectacular. And um, again, while I appreciate them trying to change things up, it's not really a mode that I super enjoyed. If they could add guilds, that would be so much more enjoyable. So hopefully, oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so happy that we kept going. Okay, let's check this one. And she is minus attack, but I don't care. <laughs> That's amazing. And, uh, you know, I think that I did finish answering the questions. So thank you so much, Maurice Saturn. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from the Gray Bearded Summoner. And they ask, I am curious, during the lightning round, you mentioned that you didn't like Yunaka. Is this disliking the character entirely or just not for you? I hope she didn't do something to hit Surter levels. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I will tell you, she is not on Surter level, so that's good. Oh my gosh, Garrick. <laughs> you know, I guess that he heard that all the Sacred Stones characters were at the beach, so he just had to join. <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, let's check IVs. And he is plus speed. I am so happy with that. <laughs> and, you know, we don't have too much left, but maybe we can get those final Lara shells. This could be it. Who knows? <laughs> But getting back to this very lucky question, um, I was saying that I don't dislike Yunaka on certain levels, but I do not like her as a character. And like standard disclaimer, I am sorry because I know everybody loves her, but she is not a character that I like. And initially it was that I just did not like her design. I felt like it was kind of tacky and um, I didn't really care for her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. Okay, let's check IVs again. Still no plus attack, but you know what, we have a florette, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and uh, getting back to this incredibly lucky question, um, I was saying that I didn't really love Yunaka's personality. I didn't like high papaya, it kind of annoyed me. And then what really like sold it for me was when people found out that I didn't care for her, they were so outraged. And if you know anything about me, I am a contrarian. And if someone tells me to like something that I don't care for, it just makes things 10 times worse. Same thing happened with Annette. <laughs> And so the more people tell me that she's amazing and that how can you not like her, it just makes things worse and I don't like her more. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not like Loki. <laughs> you know what? I could probably give her skills to someone, so it's okay. Let's check IVs. And she is minus attack. Sure. <laughs> and unfortunately, we're out of orbs, but you know what? I do have a little left in my piggy bank and I also need to see how many we still need. And so... I'll be right back. Okay, we have 39 orbs. We need three copies. It's very unlikely, but we're going to try. <laughs> and so thank you again, Great Bearded Summoner, for that incredibly lucky question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Phantom Blade. And they ask, out of each resplendent, which was your favorite for each realm so far? So hopefully I can remember all of the realms. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like I might leave some out. Um, but the first one I guess would be Asker. And I think that my favorite was probably Elliewood just because it was such a huge upgrade. I loved it. And then um, I think the next one would probably be Niffle. And of course my favorite was Sarah. That was just the most amazing surprise. And then um, for Moosebell, oh gosh, there are a few that are really, really good. But I think that my favorite is probably Chrom, just because that was another one that felt like a huge upgrade and really felt like him. Um, and it's also super dynamic art. And then um, I guess the next place after that would be maybe like Embla. <laughs> and it's always one where I never know that it's actually Embla. But I think that, oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're so close. Okay, let's check this one. And she's minus speed, but that's a merge. <laughs> okay, two to go. Um, but getting back to this is a very lucky question. I was saying that for Embla, I think that Tail to you is Embla. I'm not 100% sure, but if she is, I would choose her. And then um, for Hell, oh gosh, I feel like 90% of them are amazing. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, five star two is amazing. Okay, let's check this one. And she is plus speed. Okay. <laughs> Can we do it? One more. <laughs> Getting back to this very, very, very lucky question. I was saying that for hell, I like 90% of them, but probably Eldigan is still my favorite. And then for Losov, oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry if that was loud again, but I, I'm so beyond excited. <laughs> and let's check IVs. And that's our plus 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, while we're here, we have to pull the green. It's just, it's required. Um, but to finish up this question, um, for Low Self Hamer, I would choose Lara Shell. And for Nita Valir, I would choose Ephraim. But thank you again for that incredibly lucky question and the plus 10. <laughs> and so I think that we can back out and now we can go ahead and stop. I'm so happy that we were able to get the Lara Shell plus 10. I, <laughs> I don't have words about how happy I am. And if you guys are pulling on the spanner, I truly hope that you get everything that you were looking for. I also want to say a huge thank you for hanging out with me this long. I'm sure this is going to be incredibly long to edit, but thank you for being here. <laughs> and as always, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.